Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academies. How do you use Logic Pro 10 uh, level 1 with me, Chris? In the last one we created a clap and a snare. In this one we're going to bring in some hats and create a hat loop. Again, we can use Ultra Beat for this. We could use just dragging and dropping the audio files onto the uh, track area. Uh, but we're going to use an EXS24. Uh, we could bring it into this EXS24, uh, but if... The claps and snares, we probably want to treat those with uh, similar effects like compressors or EQs, whereas hats mightn't, the compressors for a snare mightn't work on a hat. So we'll create a new instance of EXS24 uh, to create the hats, just to keep everything a bit separate so it's easy and visually easy to see on the mixer and stuff. Uh, we can create a new track uh, by clicking this button, or if we click this button here, we create track with duplicate settings. So uh, we, if we have this highlighted, it's opened up a new track with an EXS24 in it and has loaded the uh, clap and snare kit. We don't want that at the moment, so we just go new instrument, or no instrument, sorry. And let's rename this track Hats, just so we don't get lost. Again, we're going to create a new uh, kit. So we create Edit, New Instrument, Not Kit, and New. And we're going to load multiple samples. And we've direct, uh, navigated to our drum samples. So we want this hat, this hat, and this shaker. So hat one, hat two, and shaker. And we're going to go add, bump, and we're going to go done, bump. Zone width, we want each sample to be just across one key rather than several keys. And we, there we go. Okay, so open closed shaker i'm going to move shaker up here and then i'm going to highlight all these and move them down so we want to take off the one shot and we're going to save this instrument as hats so into our folder save over the one already created bump so let's go and program in some hats Let's go right click, create empty MIDI region, bump and shaker. So closed hat, open hat and shaker. So uh, I'm going to set this grid to 16th and this closed hat one on every downbeat. So sorry, we're in the wrong note. So you can double click to get rid of it and click below. So yeah, open up our toolbox, right click. Or, and we can have pen tool, eraser tool, scissors, glue, mute, quantize, velocity, all kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we want the pen tool to draw in. There we go. We want to make this nice and loud. So yeah, we've got now a kick on top of it, or sorry, clap on top of the kick. Sounds very cool. Let's make another one in between. And this hopefully will pick up the pace a little bit. So yep, we've now got some energy going in the track, some forward movement. Next thing we want to program in is this open hat. So one on every off beat. So in between, so this is beat one, beat two. We want one on beat three, beat three, beat three, beat three. Again, very loud. So just click on the note here. It highlights them all and we can turn that down. And lastly, shaker, boom, shaker in, shaker in, shaker in. And again, highlight these. The shaker sounds a bit quiet, so let's turn it up full. That's a bit loud now. So cool, sounds all right. <coughs> what can we do to add interest? If you go and watch JTEC's uh, Tech Tips, he talks very much extensively about getting the most out of every part, taking every part to the next level and get it, making it better. Uh, so what can we do just to add interest in this? Uh, we can go and open up the EXS24 and our instruments. So let's go and edit it. And I forgot to save as, so save as. Save. So. 
So, this is our main hat. This is the one doing the eighth rhythm. So we can, we'll keep it centre, and these are doing sort of off rhythm. So what we'll do, shaker. Let's pan shaker 20 to the right. And this off hat 20 the other way. Let's take off one shot, sorry, as well. Maybe go a little bit more, maybe 30. And you can see our meters here. You can see this is more left and this is more right. So, so there we go again. It's a bit mechanical. I would turn the shaker up a little bit. And the last thing I want to do is I, I can hear some low end stuff in there that we don't particularly want. So if we double click on EQ, this box here. That automatically opens up our EQ and we switch on this thing called Analyzer and this will show us the frequencies uh, that are in the track already. So we hit play. So this is our hats frequency. And you can see here, we have a lot of low end stuff that we don't really want in the track. We don't need, this is high end content. So let's let's have a listen. I'm gonna filter this down so you, you can actually hear it. Now you'll need decent speakers or, or decent headphones to hear this stuff. So there's a lot of low end. You may not have known was in the hat pattern that we don't want. So we just, we get rid of it. So again, let's switch this off. Switch this low cut on. So this is going to cut all the lows away. Sometimes called a high pass, letting all the highs pass or low cut. And what that does, that really keeps everything clean. Always try and get into the habit of, of removing low end stuff. So... So you can hear it now, it's just the, 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 at the bottom end, we get rid of. There we go. So we've applied an EQ, now we can go and probably do this to the snare. Now, snares will have a certain amount of body in them. I'm actually going to go in and to the snares, they're very, very quiet. So I'm going to highlight both and turn the volume up a bit. Not just as much as that. Just so we're not peaking. And it'll ask me to save. Yes, save. We'll just pull this back a bit. Okay. And again, we can go and look at the low frequency content in this by switching on analyzer. And there's all this stuff here we don't need. So let's now again be careful with snares. There will be some lows. You will want some stuff. There's a sort of ring there we, we might want within the snare to keep the characteristics of the snare. Okay. Uh, so back to your hats. Again, one last thing we what we can do is to add a little bit of swing to it. So it all sounds very rhythmic, you know, machine gun straight. Uh, so what we what you would do in, in dance music is add a little bit of swing. Trance music and stuff you would add like a 16b a very subtle swing house music and stuff you can add lots of swing techno you can add you know lots of swing to as well uh here i'm going to add uh, a 16b swing so it'll work on the 16th this is the eighth here so it'll only apply to this note here so if i hit quantize you'll see this mo note get delayed Bump. so it's just it's very subtle it's moved it off the grid I'll, I'll let you hear, I'll, I'll apply more swing so you can actually hear the effect of swing and what it does. So you can hear it gets very skippy, very bouncy. Let's, let's go to a really extreme setting. So that's very housey, that would give you kind of, that would suggest to me a house groove. But for the music... For this sort of music, we'll just we'll add a very small smidgen of, of 16B. We can revisit the swing uh, at a, you know once we get the track up and going, the bass line, and we might want to add some some different swing in. But there for now, we have created our hats, claps, snares, kicks. Our drums are you know the very basics of the drums are done. 
Let's just color code that bad boy by hitting option C. Done. So there we go. Guys, hats, claps, uh, and kick done. The next one we're going to look at bringing in an audio file. We've dealt with uh, opening up sampler instruments at the moment and dealing with uh, MIDI. Uh, and moving MIDI about. Uh, in the next one, we're going to deal with audio. Speak to you all then. Bye. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.